Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, founder of The Voice for Fitness. So how do you get those toned upper arms back? Well, I'm willing to bet it's a couple of things that let them go in the first place. First, you don't do it with as much frequency as you used to. You don't have youth on your side, so you don't have quite as much muscle mass compared to the fat mass that you had back then, but it's not impossible. And I'm going to show you a few exercises that can help you target those tough to reach areas right here. So prepare for the chest press by lying down on a stable surface and then use your weights pressing them up from outside of your chest and shoulders to up and over the center of your chest. So it's important to bring the weights a little closer together as you get over your chest. Now you can see I have an iPod on and that's for a reason. I wanna stay according to a tempo. So you might wanna find some kind of music between 120 and 140 beats per minute so you can control it. So moving from your chest press, you're gonna go into a tricep extension. So as I lower the weights and being careful and conscious about lowering them to the outside of my head, not to my forehead, and keeping my elbows right in alignment, they're pointed at the sky right above my shoulders, not letting them drift out to the sides or toward my hips or legs. So for the second set, I make it a little more challenging by raising up into a bridge. So now I've got my glutes, my legs, my core, and the chest and triceps all working. Nothing is on vacation here. So it's important to keep your neck relaxed by keeping the weight in the center of your head. Don't jam your chin to your chest. You want a little space underneath your neck. And keep your chest wide and broad. Now we do one more set of tricep extensions and you see the difference here is I've turned my palms upward. So you might try both versions. The first one was in, this one is up. There's a difference in the work that happens through the triceps but even more so in your forearms in toning those muscles a little differently. But you may need to pay more attention to simply what's comfortable and feels more coordinated for you. This one, I don't know if you can tell, is a little more uncomfortable for me. I can do it, but it's not my favorite. So, the trick is find the right weights so that you can lift the weight and do all the repetitions without fatiguing and with great form, but make sure that you're safely able to do them all. So I had 10 pounds. For some exercisers, that would be a little much. So think about eights or even fives and make sure you can get all the repetitions but do challenge yourself so as long as you don't have an injury you want to make sure that you fatigue at about 10 or 12 repetitions ideally and certainly on the second set you want to make sure that you hit that point but don't premeditate by that i mean don't think about the second set and think well i not going to get tired on this first set, but I'm doing two sets, so I know I'll fatigue then. That's backward thinking. You want to take one set at a time, fatigue at the first set, and then change weights if you need to, to fatigue and yet complete the second set. All right, so I'm going to see you at the next video, and we're going to focus on lower body.